What's up guys, Coach Lauren here from Colossus Fit. Today we're gonna run you through how to do a dumbbell step up. I do wanna mention that although I'm doing a dumbbell step up, same rules are gonna apply on a cable step up or any variation that you're doing. So let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, I am set up in front of something to stabilize myself. This is just a way to elevate the movement and keep more control while you're building that strength on your working leg. You don't have to do this in front of something. If you can't have a squat rack, that's completely okay. In the video, I am gonna demonstrate it that way, but again, you don't really need something in front of you. Okay, so first things first, whatever your working leg is, we're gonna hold the dumbbell in the opposite side. So, if I'm using my right leg first, I'm gonna hold this in my left hand. Whatever your non-busy hand is, we're gonna hold on to whatever's in front of you. So make sure your foot is nice and stable. We don't want your heel hanging off or anything. Make sure it's nice and flat, nice and stable sitting here. And then we're gonna come and hinge over top of that working leg while holding the dumbbell nice and close to that working leg. And from here, although I'm holding on to this, I don't wanna take a ton of the weight off of my working leg. It's really just meant to help you stabilize, especially on the way down. So I'm gonna hold on to this, give myself a little bit of tension here, and then I'm gonna push out of that working leg, pushing up, squeezing at the top, and when I come down, my back leg is just giving a quick tap to the ground, and back up. Quick tap, back up. Keeping all that tension right on my glute, keeping my foot nice and flat, and squeezing. One more thing I wanted to add here, is when you are stepping backwards, try and think about really stepping back to the point where you feel a stretch in that muscle. So I'm almost stepping backwards. I'm not stepping right underneath the bench. I'm gonna step back, feel a stretch in that glute, and push up. Back, stretch in that glute, push up. Okay, so before we get into some common mistakes in this movement, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe as well as hitting that like button if you are enjoying the video so far. So the reason why I am doing this to stabilize myself, and I do really recommend that as you're gaining strength through this movement, is because the number one common mistake is using your non-working foot to push off in the rep. So we're coming back, fully stepping down and pushing back up. We do wanna avoid this mostly because it's just taking all that tension off of our working leg, and we don't want that. We wanna keep all the tension here, and that's why we go for a nice little toe tap. Like I mentioned, having this for stability is gonna help us with a lot of the common mistakes, and this is another common mistake. It's just not having control on the way down. So, it goes hand in hand with pushing off of your back foot, but we're going so fast on the way down and just releasing all that tension onto the back foot, and we're not having any control here. So again, we wanna go super slow, this part of the movement is just as important as your step up. So think about that control all the way down, nice and slow. The last common mistake is actually just lazy foot positioning. So a lot of people will kind of be half off the bench or too far forward or whatever. Just make sure it's nice and comfortable. The main thing you want to look for is having all of the surface area of your foot, especially your heel if you're aiming for more glute, right onto the bench. So I'm nice and stable and that instability is not going to be an issue. Now we have that glute focus step up mastered. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a free gift for you. If you click that first link in the bio, it's gonna give you free access to a form guide. You can master so many other lifts, so definitely take advantage of that. Otherwise, again, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.